Well, this is a very exciting meeting at the controversies in multiple myeloma in Paris. We have had such unbelievable progress in the past 10 to 15 years with the immunomodulatory drugs, the proteasome inhibitors, the antibodies, and an HDAC inhibitor. And many patients nowadays uh, enjoy even a chronic illness with their families and enjoy the joys and milestones of life. But the future is even brighter. And it's brighter because we can actually develop novel targeted therapies now that can trigger the genomic abnormalities that exist in tumor cells. So treat much more specifically on the one hand, and on the other, developing novel immune therapies. What you can already appreciate today is that if we put targeted therapies together, with or without high dose therapy and a transplant, we can actually achieve responses called minimal residual disease. Fewer than one myeloma in 100,000 or a million normal cells. That's very exciting. I think as we go forward and we take an immunomodulatory drug and a proteasome inhibitor and a steroid as initial therapy and we supplement that with a monoclonal antibody, we'll even get higher rates of minimal residual disease. The thing we then need to do is to do something immunologically to make sure that that MRD negative response, as it's called, can be persistent. And so I will be talking, and the immune therapies at this meeting have novel monoclonal antibodies, immunotoxins, for example, targeting BCMA that deliver an immunotoxin specifically to the tumor, by specific T cell engagers, which bind to BCMA on the myeloma cell and attract the CD3 positive immune cells locally to the tumor, thereby getting potent selective activity just where you want it and hopefully fewer side effects. And then adoptive immunotherapy. CAR T cells are very exciting as are other strategies to try to restore in patients memory immune cells, in particular memory T cells, against their own tumor. So my belief strongly in the future is, for all patients, we will use combinations of targeted treatments initially to achieve minimal residual disease negativity, and then we will do something immunologically to restore in the patient, him or herself, an immune reaction against their own myeloma that will make that maintained response. Once we do that, we have a chronic illness and we have a potential cure. So the excitement is palpable already, but the future is even better still.